Hi everybody, welcome from Acumen Accounting. Today, I'm going to discuss the options for the contractors and the freelancers to set up a limited company or set up a business for themselves as a freelancer or work as a self-employed or stay on the payroll. So these are the three options available for the contractors and the freelancers. Is number one, stay on the payroll, uh, work from uh, for agency. Number two option is uh, register yourself as a self-employed. And the third option is a set up a limited company. So what I'll do is before I go into the number, I'll just give you some general information what's happening in the market. So what happened is if you are new in the market, you uh, approach agency for work you needed, or you probably just put yourself online um, and uh, on, on these websites where people just go and see if uh, they need any skilled person to do the job. So mostly what happened is you go to the agency, agency send you to a multinational company to work for. When you get there, they will pay you through um, uh, by a payroll, they deduct uh, tax and uh, NI from your wages and then they pay you the net pay. So it's basically you don't have to do anything on your tax. You don't have to do calculate um, your tax at the end of the day. They will do everything for you. They'll generate a pay slips and you basically are employed kind of the thing, even though you are working for agency, but it's kind of a job anyways. It depends how long the contract is, maybe for uh, sometime three months, six months or a year. But what's happening is when these contractors getting into the job, they are talking to uh, their friends, colleagues, or other people who are working in the industry and the questions start raising, I think I'm paying more tax and um, uh, they are deducting so much tax from my wage. They, the, the agency are paying me less, but it's not the case. They are basically giving you the correct amount which you have agreed before you started the contract. What happening is basically you're paying too much tax and the NI because your pay or your hourly rate is very high. You're earning above the threshold where they're deducting maybe 40% tax out of your income. So in that case, uh, we as an accountant receiving some queries, some questions uh, from uh, newly people who are in the contract industry. So I thought I'd make a video uh, on that topic, which basically going to help them. So if you are a contractor and you're in the industry, what happening is you are staying on the payroll. So what if you set up as a self-employed or you set up a limited company? So my advice to anybody who is earning more than 50,000 pound a year as a contractor, please set up a limited company because tax wise, it's be more beneficial for you. It's give you more money in your hand. It's also give you freedom of managing your expenses. So if you stay on the payroll, what happens is you can't claim uh, your mileage. You cannot claim the subscriptions or any uh, professional fees you pay towards uh, the expenses. You cannot claim any uniform you use uh, if you are stay on the employment. But if you have a limited company, uh, to set up the tax is 19% uh, in, in nowadays in 2019-20. We don't know what happened in future, but currently it's 19% corporation tax. But if you stay as a self-employed or on the payroll, um, the personal allowance is 12,500 pound. So you don't pay any tax on it. But if you make uh, money between 12,501 pound to 50,000 pound, you pay 40% uh, tax. And then it's go uh, above to 45% if you earn more than uh, 50,000 pounds and then you will have no personal allowance available if your income is more than 125,000 pound a year. So on that basis, it is very wise and good decision to go and form a limited company, pay yourself as a director uh, under the personal allowance. So you will lose, you will basically use your full allowance being a contractor in the limited company because you're a, maybe a sole director of the company anyways, then pay yourself a dividend, deduct all the expenses for your, if you if you are doing mileage, you're going to your, uh, your workplace, to you're doing different jobs for the, as a contractor, um, all these expenses you can claim um, in, in your limited company. And then basically at the end of the day, money wise, you are more, more beneficial. So this is one of the key thing which you need to know as a contractor contractor or a freelancer. So don't stay on the payroll. If your income is more than 50,000 pound, set up a limited company as soon as possible. This will give you more benefit 
uh, it will be more freedom you have more control on it but the problem is if somebody working as an engineer or anything like that what happened is because they, they are already have so much knowledge of their industry but they they lack knowledge on the finance side and the accountancy side what will happen how much tax they will pay the for for that point and way that the accountants come i'm not asking you to come to us um, as in a client but you can ask us a question and we are happy to reply to your queries you can leave a comment at the bottom of this video or you can send us a personal message one of um, our team member will reply you if i have a time or if i get to uh, your questions i will reply myself so any questions any queries you have this is a time for you you can ask us a question if as a contractor as a freelancer if you have any questions uh, you can get in touch with us so any problem or anything you think you know how much tax i will pay what is the comparison the comparison there's there is a calculator for wages is available online you just simply google is um, how much you know wages calculator the link will come up you put your estimated wage uh, the calculator will tell you how much tax and national insurance you will pay and uh, how much money you will take like like take home pay how much you will get so you will have an idea anyways how much the uh, you know once for example your contract value is maybe 100000 pound so if you stay on the payroll you will pay a stupid amount in tax and the national insurance so stay um, on a limited company former limited company is not expensive it's very uh, very cheap to register a limited company with the company's house and then um, it might be some admin cost involved you know you you probably have to pay your accountants to do your books um, but as a contractor it's not expensive as well uh, because your income all come to the bank your expenses are not a lot but again you need to keep an eye on the threshold of your VAT as well so if you above the VAT threshold you need to uh, consider registering for the VAT as well so again uh, if you have any general questions anything you want you to ask regarding the forming a limited company or staying as a contractor uh, what tax implication on you what services we can provide um, we are here to help we are here to talk to people and again we don't charge talking to people any question you have leave a comment at the bottom of this video if you think uh, you don't want it to be publicly asked any question you can uh, go to our website uh, you can uh, you know either book an appointment with us uh, you will see book an appointment it's a 60 minutes appointment free of cost it's not going to charge you when you book an appointment you will receive an email confirming your appointment is booked if you want to talk to us over the phone just pick up the phone ring us on the time when your appointment time is start and uh, either myself will talk to you um, on the phone or one of my team member but most likely is i will speak to the potential people who have any questions or any queries um staying in the contract is a good it's give you freedom it's a, it's one of the best option the opportunity for you uh, to succeed in that industry um and i'll just leave it and uh, finish the video uh, now so as i don't want to be dragged the video for too long because people sometimes lose interest on uh, on how how things are but again everybody is different every person tax liability tax structure is different uh, if you wanted to ask any question get in touch with us and we'll definitely reply you Again, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye for now.